Do you want to improve your online presence and social media content? Of course you do. I'm Andy from Cut It Out Media and today we're talking with John Lynch at The Best Music HQ and we're taking him through the five steps to improve your next video and photo shoot and he's able to tell us a little bit about how that works from a business point of view. Hi I'm Andy, John's here. Hi guys. Before we get into the five points of how to make better videos and photos, we want to go through the why. So why is it important? Why are we going through these five points? Why should we be focusing on improving your video photo content? John. Why? Why, yeah, so why do we want better photos and videos? Um, well, for me as a small business owner and an online retailer, the content is what draws people to the, the store. It's the new shop window. For our online store, we want to create more digital uh, presence, so get people to come. And one of the reasons that I'm in the videos is to create a sense of um, of trust and that they know that it's an Irish person, it's not just a faceless another just .ie. And then for our physical store, Blanche Music, um, it's to show people in the local area why they should come to us. Yeah. So that's yeah. all the content. Because originally you just be there and people would come and now you've got to fight for that space. Online content and showing what you have in store is the way for me to reach out to the customers and draw them into the shop or draw them onto the online platform. So either physical or virtual footfall. So I like that the, the online presence is the new shop window. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it has to be. And it's growing. You know, you've got your, your, your websites. Website, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. So for me, that's where we would go out. And I know later on we're going to talk about where to put it out. So depending on the type of content you're creating, it may have different audiences in different places. Pre-production, so the planning of your next video or photo shoot. Okay, so even before you get the camera out, the first thing. From my point of view as a business, I'm trying to grow other businesses. Yes. And part of the planning is to either maybe sit down with, with your clients such as yourself and go through what it is you're trying to achieve. So we're looking at first and foremost, the audience. As a content creator, I want to know as much about your business in terms of who you're trying to reach, the yes. message you're trying to put out, and and what result you want to get from that content. Okay. Um, so, for example, the Sire Base episode we did to you for you. Yeah. We looked at a very specific market, didn't we? Yeah. So we were looking at bass players. We were looking at people that are in Ireland that are interested in the Marcus Miller Sire product. And then we were looking at people who are likely to buy online. Um, and then obviously we had the physical store as well, but the video was aimed, that, that production was aimed at customers who weren't physically going to come to the shop. So we wanted to produce a, a really high quality video that showcased the instrument, the product, yeah. that perhaps people weren't able to see or wouldn't come into the shop necessarily. And answer as many questions before they even had them. So yeah. what do they look like? What do they sound like? How do they play? Yeah. And for somebody who's buying something at three or 400 euros, maybe like the V3 series, those answers, they're happy enough to get the information online and make the purchase. The higher end ones, people might be like, oh, I want to try and play it out. But honestly, people buy expensive things on the internet all the time and to justify them buying it from us, content creation was the way to do it. I want to make more sales. I want more people to come to my shop. I want to get likes and subscribes. I want to get mailing list comments. If you plan for what you want to get out of it, then you can arrange the whole thing around that.